Hi everyone, in today's video, I'll try to introduce you to one of the most tricky components of English grammar, that is articles, a, n, and the. A and n are indefinite articles, whereas the is a definite article. There are a lot of rules and exceptions to use or not to use an article before a noun or an adjective. However, in this video, I'll try to focus on some basic rules of using these articles. Although the use of articles is challenging, yet to improve the writing or speaking skills, we need to learn them and use them correctly. I hope that these basic rules will help you to do that. I will start with the use of a and an because their use is quite simple and easy. A and an are indefinite articles which are used to introduce a singular noun or to talk about someone or something for the very first time or to talk about something in general. For example, I saw a baby in a street. So a baby is singular countable noun and you are introducing the baby for the very first time in a sentence. When you want to talk about the same baby or you want to explain something about that baby, you can say the baby was wearing green shirt. Similarly, you can also say he is an honest man. Remember that you cannot use a with plural nouns because a means one. So whenever you have to introduce a singular countable noun, you must use an article a or an. The article a is used before singular countable nouns which begin or which start with a consonant sound. Whereas we use an article an with all those words which start with a silent h. Such as we can use an an article a with a boy, a horse, a pen, an ink pot, an orange, and an R. You can see that I have used an article a with the word boy, which starts with a consonant sound. I have used a with horse because in this particular word, H is not silent, but H is pronounced. Whereas I have used an article n with R, an R ago. N is used with, with the word R because in R or hour, sometimes people do pronounce it as an hour ago, H is silent. Therefore, the first sound that you hear is of an O and not H. That is the reason we use an article N with R. Similarly, we use an article A with the words which start with a consonant sound. For example, a boy, a reindeer, a woman, a university, a union, a European, a unicorn, etc. When I was in my school, my teachers told me that we have to use an article N with all those words we start with vowel. For example, we used to learn A, E, I, O, U and we will use an article N with it. But now we know that all those words which start with a vowel sound, we use an article N with them. But all those words which start with a consonant sound, we use an article A with them. No matter if a university starts with a vowel U, a unicorn starts with a vowel U, European starts with a vowel E, but since they do not give you the vowel sound, that is the reason we do not use N with them, but we use an article A. Because the first sound that you hear in university, unicorn or European is of Y sound. So Y sound is not a vowel sound. That is the reason it takes an article A with them. The last but not the least use of an indefinite article A is using uh, an article a uh, with the cardinal numbers. What are these cardinal numbers? Cardinal numbers are your simple counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So whenever you are using these cardinal numbers, you will use an article a uh, with them. But remember, you have to think about the context in which these cardinal numbers are used. If I say I have a 1 rupee note or if I have a 10 rupee note, I will use an article a uh, with them because 1 is a cardinal number or 10 is a cardinal number. Another very interesting and confusing use of article a uh, is using it in a sentence twice. For example, I have two examples here. I have a black and white cat. And the second sentence is, I have a black and a white cat. 
you can note that se both sentences are quite similar but the only difference is of an extra article a in the second sentence please note that in the first sentence i am talking about only one cat that is black as well as white whereas in my second sentence i am referring to two cats from which one is black and the other one is white sometimes people do feel confused while using a helping verb or a verb with such sentences where first sentence refers to one cat only whereas the second sentence refers to two cats i have a black and a white cat so it refers to two cats similarly the second sentence the secretary as well as treasurer the secretary and treasurer is absent the secretary and treasurer are absent again you can note that i have used an article the twice in the second sentence because i am talking about two people from which one is the secretary and the other one is treasurer whereas in the first sentence i am talking about one person who is a secretary as well as a treasurer so please note that whenever you come across such sentences the use of article if this is used once it refers to one person and if the article is used twice it means you are talking about two people so next time as i said earlier the article an is used before a word that begins with a vowel sound <clears throat> for example he is an intelligent boy please give me an ink pot this is an orange an umbrella an r an honest man so all those words which start with a vowel sound you will use an article n with them so let's have a look at the definite articles the we use the when we want to talk about something or someone specifically or we want to talk about or something for the second time for example i need a grammar book the book i want is out of print so when i talked about the book the grammar book i have used an article the whereas when i talked about the grammar book for the very first time i used an article a with it but second time when i refer to the same book i used an article the with it the is used before singular as well as plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns equally the boy whom i met yesterday is my friend would you pass me the sugar so in these two sentences i am i am using an article the with the boy because i have already talked about the boy or i am saying something with reference to that boy in the second sentence i am using an article the with sugar although sugar is uncountable noun by i have used an article the with it because i am talking about the sugar specifically which is nearer to someone who is sitting on the dining table although the use of indefinite articles a and an was easy however the use of definite articles the is bit tricky you can see the first use of definite article the when a singular countable noun is meant to represent a whole class for example the cow is a useful animal the dog is a faithful animal the horse is a noble animal the cat loves comfort so in these particular sentences i am not talking about one cow only or i am not talking about only one dog or one cat only rather these cat this cat dog or cow represents its whole class or its whole species so no matter which type of cat i am talking about a persian cat a himalayan cat or any other cat whosoever the cat is the comfort is in its species so no matter although we know that we do not use an article before the use of proper nouns for example we do not say an amna an ali a hina a maryam a sara etc however there are a few proper nouns before which we can use an article the depending upon the context or their use in a sentence for example we do say the pacific ocean the black sea the punjab the nile the swiss canal the sahara desert the west indies and the himalayas etc so these are a few exceptions a few proper nouns before which we do use an article the similarly there are a few countries before whose name we do use an article the for example we do say the united states of america we do say the united kingdom the united arab emirates otherwise we do not say the pakistan
we do not say the india we do not say the usa so whenever there are a few other uses of definite article the we use an article the before the names of religious books for example the quran the bible the ramayan etc similarly the things which are present in the nature and they are unique we use an article the with them for example the sun the sky the ocean the sea the earth the sun for our galaxy is unique in its nature we have only one sky for our particular universe similarly there is only one moon for our planet so these things which are unique in their nature they take an article the before them similarly a proper noun when it is qualified by an adjective or a when something is defining an adjectival clause we use an article the before them for example the great caesar the immortal shakespeare although we are not using an article the with the proper noun caesar or shakespeare rather we are using an article the with the adjective that is preceded by it so the great the immortal similarly we use um, a definite article the when we introduce the superlative degrees in a sentence now what are these superlative degrees superlative degrees are the third degree which we call the third degree of an adjective for example dark darker darkest good better best so these are the superlative degrees whenever superlative degrees are used in a sentence we use an article the before them for example this is the best book of elementary chemistry similarly the darkest cloud has a silver lining we talked about the cardinal numbers that we use them while uh, we use an article a with the uh, with the cardinal numbers on the other hand we use an article n with the ordinal numbers these ordinal numbers are first second third fourth fifth last etc so ordinal numbers are used to order something he was the first man to arrive who was the last student who joined the class similarly we use an article the before the musical instruments before the names of the musical instruments he can play the flute he can play the piano etc similarly we use an article the before an adverb an adverb with comparatives for example the more the merrier so the guys in my today's video i have introduced the basic use of articles a and and the we have learned that a is used with singular countable nouns that start with a consonant sound and with the nouns which you are using for the first time an article n is used with singular countable nouns that start with a vowel sound or with the nouns you are using the first time similarly an article the is used with countable as well as uncountable nouns or with the nouns you are using the second time remember that this is the basic use of articles only there are a lot of exceptions where we do or do not use the articles i will explain all such exceptional cases in my next video So stay tuned bye bye